Hunky Dolly by the Bari. I can admit I like the party. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Addison. Thanksgiving. <laughs> No, what is this in your hair? It's November 1st and all of the Halloween decor is officially coming down. We're even like ridding of the Halloween costumes. Such a sad day. Halloween, did you say Halloween? She's having breakfast. Did you say Halloween? Say Halloween. Say bye, Mr. Skull, Mr. Skeleton, bye-bye. No, you don't want to say bye? And are you sad that Halloween's over? So sad. You don't sound sad at all. Not sad. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Um, packing up all the Halloween decor. We're taking down the mantle, the fireplace, my little table over there. And last but not least, the Halloween hutch, but we're putting up uh, fall and Thanksgiving, so let's get to work. <sighs> so sad the hutch is coming down. So sad. This is a this is a sad day. All of this beautiful Ray Dunn. Look, look at the hater over there. The hater. Burn it down. And then this one's coming. What do you have in your hand? Nothing. What do you have in your hand? <laughs> and then all of my colored Ray Dunn is coming down. Oh, so sad. Until next year, guys. Till next year. I'm gonna try to find a different way to store it. I'm gonna try and use the clear bins. I saw I saw a lady on Instagram and she had like 20 of those and she separated every one for holo like holidays. Right so done. she right down. She had Valentine, she had Thanksgiving, she had Halloween, Christmas. Most I'll probably have is like Halloween bins and Christmas bins. My Easter collection isn't that big. So say goodbye, Jess. Alright, you guys, this is where we are. All of the Halloween is gone. I'm slowly pulling out the Thanksgiving. <sighs> Don't have much to go with for Thanksgiving, but or fall, but we're gonna try to work some magic. I have a bunch of space fillers, so let's see what all we can do.
Target. Trying to figure out what Santa needs to bring us for Christmas. These are, these are these just, they, they make them comfortable. <laughs> This is a Cabbage Patch Kid. This is what I grew up with. Daddy. It's a Cabbage Patch and they have more. Oh, I didn't even know that they had Cabbage Patch Kids anymore. Look at this one. Look at her. Daddy, you never liked any of this baby doll stuff? No. <laughs> look, look. What? That is awesome! I'm Queen Poppy. Let's go! <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, good morning. It is November 3rd, Election Day. Very odd time, very weird times. I'm actually getting up at 6.51 right now. I'm headed to go vote. Hopefully, this turns out the way everybody... This turns out the way it needs to turn out. Wish me luck there. I see in like some cities they have boarded up businesses. If that doesn't tell you all you need to know about what's going on in the world, you are really drawing a blind eye to your friends, your family, your co-workers. It, it's it's just weird, man. This is weird. But I'm going to go vote. Hopefully, um, the lines aren't too long. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys there. The table just came in. So I'm going to see if I can assemble it myself. So bought <clears throat> these little containers here from the dollar spot at Target. I saw an idea on Instagram that I wanted to try with this. So let's see if it works out. But it's gonna take us a minute to assemble that table. So let's get started. Oh my God, you guys, I love the TV stand. I just hate that it came with a broken piece, but I did contact the sellers and they are sending us a whole new TV stand just for that one bottom broken piece, which is really, really, really awesome. So I love everything about it, you guys. What do you think? So I'm going to end this vlog with this huge Christmas Ray Dunn everything haul. Of course, you know, everything not Ray Dunn will be first because I found some really, really, really good accent pieces that I can pair with the Ray Dunn. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, the first two items that I found were just these wreaths here from Marshalls. They were... $14.99. I'm kind of regretting buying them because they have so much glitter. I don't know if you can see all of that. They have so much glitter on them and like I'm standing here and there's a pile of glitter everywhere. I really like these because you guys see those little uh, pieces that I bought that I showed in the haul. I wanted to place those on that, like I have those wreaths there. I thought these would be perfect for the holiday season, uh, minus the glitter. <laughs> Next, I picked up these little dishes here. Um, these are just, I don't know if they're candy dishes or if they're measuring dishes, but I found these at Marshall's for $4.99. Uh, this one just reminded me of like peppermint, so I wanted to grab that one and place on the hutch really cute great accent piece for the hutch this next item i was really excited to find because i have been scoping this baby out in store for about a month now this is just the letters for santa you guys know i wanted the ray dunn letters for santa one i'll put a picture up here I highly doubt I'm gonna find that this holiday season, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. This one was $12.99 from TJ Maxx. Really cute, it just says, mail here to North Pole. I don't know if I have this lid, so I need to be careful. So cute, I can just see this on top of the hutch. Really cute accent piece. 
Alrighty, this piece I found I'm going to use for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Valentine's Day is slowly showing up in stores. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm really excited about it. This was $6.99 from Marshalls. Alrighty, moving on to the Ray Dunn. And we're first gonna start off with the items that are not holiday related. The first thing I picked up was this, I hope you can see this, this nest birdhouse. I'm not into the birdhouses, well, I guess I'm not into the plain birdhouses. I like anything colored in the birdhouses and I thought this one was really, really cute. Um, I think I'm gonna pair this with the Summer Done, like the bee collection, because it's a little bit too, too orangey um, yellow for um, the spring collection, so or like the Easter collection. So really excited about this one. This one was $19.99 from TJ Maxx. I found the Thankful Birdhouse here from Marshall. I actually got this from a young lady that sold me um, a canister that you guys will see in this haul. I was so excited that I finally got my hands on the Thankful. I am gonna pair this with the fall decor on the Hutch. So excited to show you guys the Hutch. Next, we have the yellow welcome birdhouse. I hope you guys can see that. Let's see. I am starting my um, spring collection. I'm, if I see some stuff that I need for spring, I am grabbing it now, just so I won't be you know, having to scurry to look for it in the spring. I got this one from Marshalls, 19.99. The blue tweet, the pink home, both from Marshalls, 19.99. I officially have all of them. I have the green, the yellow, the pink, and the blue. My Easter collection is gonna be lit, girl. So, oh my God, I can just see these all on top of the hutch with some greenery around it. Cannot wait to decorate. The last thing that isn't Christmas related, I found this uh, set of towels. Um, they are just white. I don't know why I got white towels. I live in a house with an older man and two kids. These are gonna be dirty the first week that I put them up, but I thought they were cute. It just says, our nest and home. I just thought these would be like fill-in towels for like when we don't have a holiday season. Uh, mostly for January when the holiday is over, you can kind of go all back to your basic. $6.99 from Marshall. All right, girl, let's get into this done Christmas because there is a lot. I found the Under the Mistletoe mug, my unicorns, the Noel mug, uh, North Pole, uh, Deck the Halls here, the Milk for Santa with the cup on the back. Oh my God. Finally found one of these. I have been wanting one of these forever. I also have another North Pole with the topper. I really wanted one with the topper. And this one, I'm not too, I'm not too excited about because it just does not go with my decor. I may find a trade for this one. This is just the Let It Snow with the wooden topper. Uh, this was $7.99 from Marshalls. Found the Ba Humbug. Also found the Believe here. And I do want to find the Believe in green this year. I also found a cheer mug with the stitching. A Tis the Season in green. A Tis the Season with the red interior. But I don't know if you can tell, this is actual green lettering. I found a Noel with the red interior. And this one also has the green writing. Tis the season with the stitching. A uh, peppermint mocha with the red interior. And the last mug that I have is just a Merry Christmas with the stitching. You guys know I have the regular Merry Christmas, which was the only Christmas piece that I found last year. So I was excited to run up on this one. I found the eggnog pitcher. I really didn't want this one. I really saw this one in store and I was like, what can I do with it? Where can I put it in the house? So I was like, I can't leave it. $14.99 from Home Goods. I also found the Naughty and Nice um, Sugar and Cream Set. That's what they're called, Sugar and Cream Sets. Now that I've found the Santa uh, Sugar and Cream Sets, like I really wanted to find these at first, but now that I found the, found the other ones, I don't know 
if I'm really into them. I don't know. They were both $5.99 from um, Home Goods. Also have a Ho 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 baby canister. I do have a what are they called? Fat belly uh, Ho 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 canister. So I'm so excited to pair these together. I found this wish tree here and this was something that I kept seeing online last year and I was like, oh, it's so nice. I really think I want it. It was one of those items that I was really underwhelmed with when I saw it in person, but I was like, let me just grab it. Maybe I'll grow to like it. I don't like it. $14.99 from Marshalls. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Hopefully I can trade it out because I'm really not a fan. Also picked up the Merry and Bright sign. You guys know I love the signs from Dunn. I actually prefer the one she came out with last year. I think this was one from last year. I like the simple look of these. I went with Mary and Bright. They also had a Mary that was black and white, like the uh, black and white Thanksgiving that I, and Halloween that I found. This was $7.99. My dumb buddy Jazz sent me a text and she was like, girl, I got way too much stuff. Do you want any of this? And I said, yes ma'am. She had a ho 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 roller just sitting in her closet, not being used. I said, if you don't, you don't, if you don't sell me it. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited she contacted me. I love this. I've been looking for one of these. Oh my God, can't wait to display it. I also found the book set, the stack book set from Ray Dunn. This was $12.99 from Home Goods. And it just says Merry Christmas. I do like this one compared to the other ones. I could have easily made this this year, but I saw this and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I do like the ribbon and the rope, the jute rope that they have here along with the little, is this a mistletoe? We're gonna call it a mistletoe today. So, so, so cute. Really, really like these. So I'm glad I picked this one up. Found this one from a local Dunn buddy. She was getting rid of it. It just says the Santa cookies. Um, she got this from Home Goods. <sighs> I love this. So cute. <sighs> I'm just a happy dunner right now. I'm just a really, really happy dunner. Another one I was really excited about Reindeer Snacks. And this is more of a medium sized canister. Down to the final two items that <sighs> just, it literally made my day. Santa's cookies. How? How? I said I won't. I won't get my hand on this ever in life. I, it's never gonna happen. She's so beautiful. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Found this one from a local buddy as well. You guys know? Well, you don't know. I found the Merry Christmas truck. If you see these out in store and you are unsure about it, grab it. You have to grab. This is one of the most sought after Ray Dunn Christmas items. Besides like the green canisters that I have ran across. Everybody is trying to get their hands on this truck. A bit pricey, this was $24.99, but I didn't care, I needed it. This is a piece that everybody wants. So cute, look at that. Love, love, love that. So I was really excited that I found that. Alrighty guys, that concludes the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Did you find some stuff that you were looking for this holiday season? I also wanted to bring up a point that I have noticed in some of my videos. Shorty Tam mentioned it on one of her videos and it resonated with my entire soul. I have been noticing in some of my comments that people are they're not really feeling the Ray Dunn or they're just kind of like, I love your videos, but I'm not into the Ray Dunn. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know our 2020 has been a very challenging year for us all. And we're all finding ways of just waking up in the morning and not being annoyed, feeling defeated, feeling sad. So we all have our little outlets to deal with what's going on around us. Um, it's a lot, there's a lot going on and we are all dealing with it in our own individual ways. So this may be an outlet for someone. 
this may be an outlet for someone watching my video and going look i just want to get away from all of the stress i want to get away from all of the chaos of the world so i watch these ray done videos and i feel for 10 minutes for 15 minutes for 12 minutes i feel i feel okay um i will say that's my case this is my outlet uh to deal with the stress that's going on around the world the pandemic this pandemic that we're still in that does not seem to be getting any better the stress of work the stress of trying to fix up a house trying to buy a house so it's very 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 discouraging to log on and see some of the nasty like i really i usually don't get a lot of negative comments but lately i don't know what maybe it's something in the water but a lot of you guys have been leaving a bunch of negative comments on my page and I get it. It's YouTube. You're putting your life online for people to judge and say whatever they want to say. But it's just really annoying sometimes. Unsubscribing or not watching a video is free. Doesn't cost you a thing. It won't hurt my feelings. Definitely won't hurt yours. Thank you Shorty Tam for addressing that because that really, really made me see that I'm not the only one going through some of the things that I've experienced here on YouTube. Uh, I really appreciate my Ray Dunn community. Um, it is a community. I'm in a community with these young ladies and I love watching their videos. I love when they post because it just lets me kind of step out of reality for a, real, uh, a few seconds and just enjoy the things around me. So I thank you guys for watching. For the ones that support, I appreciate your support. Um, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.